Good evening, kids. Welcome to Brain Fizz Labs. Uh, let me show you what I'm playing with this evening. So, made those fancy wheel covers, lug covers, for the 16-inch uh, OZ Allegera HLT rims that are running on the Abarth on the street. Uh, they're nice. I put a 45-degree bevel on them where they sit on the lug wells. Um, they fit okay, but they could they could fit better. And the only way that I can make them fit better is if I have an accurate measurement of that radius. So know exactly what kind of radius to put on there so that they lock in place when this nut tightens down to the hub adapter that I designed and installed in there. The only way I'm going to be able to do that is, oh no, use the 3D scanner to scan the rim. Um, so let's go ahead and do that right now. I've got this all set up. Uh, I put the rim on a turntable and uh, I've hit it with some magic smoke that makes it a lot easier to scan. Scanner software is up. That's ready to go. Turn on preview mode. Uh, let's go ahead and stand up. Do this the best. You can see the scanner has a nice field of view. And uh, it's got basically a box that it will scan in. I can tell you that uh, the, uh, the way it works is you can see on the left-hand side there, there is a range as I move this forward and backwards. You kind of want it in the middle where it's green. There's like three or four bars of leeway. If it's green, you'll get the best results. And as you're scanning, uh, the lighter green the color of your scan is, the more confidence uh, you're going to have in your data as you collect it. So let's go ahead and get started. What I'm really trying to get is the lug well. Don't really care about the rest of the room so much. But if we have time, we'll play around. Let's go ahead and get this started. Let's get our distance right there. You can see all that pink on the outside, and things will start to go green. Get a full sweep of the lug well. Well, let's say that barrel's pretty much green. I'm going to let that valve stem come back around. I'm going to hit stop on this scan. I think we're good. can't believe this is a scanner I bought off Amazon. There we go. It's got it. Okay. That's the scan done. Set that down. Stop the wheel. And let's switch over to the software. And let's go ahead and... Um, and I'll save this. There it goes. Um, generate the point cloud. Two, one. Okay. Now that we saved our point cloud data off, uh, kind of took forever. Um, but we're going to mesh this up so that I can import it into my modeling tools and remake this little part so it fits better. So what we're going to do, I've got my mesh optimization up and I like these settings. So we're going to apply that and we're going to see how long it takes to mesh the data. You'll never hear any of this anyway because I'm going to edit it all out. We'll just uh, Julia Child this shit and it will jump from one scene to the next. And we have a mesh model. Let's take a look at it. That is clean. That is very clean. I think I will be able to build a part off of that. No freaking problem. Man, that is absolutely perfect. Dimensionally perfect. Yeah, I'm not going to have any issues with that at all. I am kind of tickled that it picked up the details on the proxies. It is hilarious. Man, if uh, you're a 3D modeler and you don't like doing texture work, here's your secret. 
Um, it did a decent job, even with as shiny as the rims are, it did a really decent job. I'm surprised it, yeah, it didn't really pick up the, uh, the valve stem, but I wasn't exactly trying. I don't mind so much as it missing stuff there. I wasn't really trying to get that. All I cared about was that, was the lip. Uh, can I look at wireframe? Uh, confirm. Yeah, that looks good. Um, multi view, top view, bottom view. Where is the wireframe? So through rectangular polygon. Oh, that's right. You can totally carve this thing up in here. Software, save your scan. Save it. Hey, it worked. Okay. Software, so I can spit this out to yeah, pretty much anything. Um, texture remapping, show hide texture. If I turn on that off, there we go. That is clean. That is absolutely clean. Okay. Yeah, there's a ton of stuff you can do in the software. Anyway, kids, that's it. I'm going to button this up, uh, get the wheel, clean the wheel, get the wheel back on the car. Okay, kids. <sighs> well, there you go. That's how that works. Um, well, there you go, kids. That's how that works. That's how that works. That's how the software works. Um, that's how you can make your life easier, cranking out your own parts to exacting dimensions. Um, I got to get that cleaned up, get that back on the car, get the car back off the lift, because I have a 9 a.m. in Santa Clara tomorrow, and it is 1.07 in the morning. So, but time flies when you're having fun. Hope you have a good one. Good night. I am a semi-professional race car driver and an amateur tattoo artist.